Hey folks, Jim Dufault here with New Calgon. All right, today I'm going to be covering Scorpion. This is a fairly new product from New Calgon offered into the HVAC market. So what is it? Well, Scorpion is a 15-inch UVC LED germicidal disinfecting system. It's an LED UV light, uh, 15 inches in length on the wand on these. And uh, with LED technology, you have a very long life and a very potent LED light that you can provide into homeowners uh, for an IAQ solution. We make it in two models. We've got our LX15, so this is the low voltage version. Again, if you're tying into a transformer or you've got a low voltage type application, this is ideal for you. Uh, if you like to do high voltage, that's the HX15, hence the H in the uh, nomenclature. So this is for 110 to 277 VAC. You've got two different models. Now, what you need to understand is they are absolutely identical in performance and they are absolutely identical in pricing. Why we did two models is simply to help reduce the cost. There are a lot of homeowners out there that want an IAQ solution in their home, but they don't want to spend thousands of dollars to do it. This is going to be the solution for you and for that homeowner. Now let's go through some of the features and the benefits because this, this product, there's nothing like it on the market today. So this operates at a powerful 265 nanometers. So that's the, uh, that's the that UVC, that, that C germicidal band in UV light. 265 nanometers is the wavelength. 265 nanometers is the absolute sweet spot. That, does, that is the strongest that you can get in UVC. So anything greater or less than that's going to be far weaker. So when you look at other mercury type glass bulbs and other UV lights on the market today, typically they're gonna be at that 254 nanometer range, which is weaker than the 265. So what that means is this is not only more powerful, but it's gonna have a much shorter kill time. So we've tested this with coronavirus 229E. This had an impressive two second kill time and that's 99.99% of the virus. We've tested it with the staff and E. coli and bacillus and you're looking at greater than 99% uh, worth of a kill rate in less than 10 minutes. Other bulbs are going to be nearly two times that uh, kill time in order to get the job done with less than 265 nanometers. So what are we talking about? We're talking about inside that coil compartment, helping to keep that uh, coil from building up mold and mildew, that sort of thing, biofilm. So again, this is uh, going to help kill mold and mildew, bacteria, viruses on surfaces. It's going to help reduce that foul and musty, that uh, dirty sock syndrome that you can get in that coil compartment as well. This is going to help uh, reduce and even eliminate that in some cases. Uh, and you're also looking at the reducing that, that biofilm. And of course, Biofilms that that like that white film that grows on that coil that can really help reduce the efficiency of that coil. A three-year warranty on this as well, and that's going to tie into the service life of this. So this is a 30,000-hour device, and what that means is if you turn this on inside an air handler and it runs continuously, you're looking at a three-and-a-half-year life. So, you know, that those uh, mercury bulbs that are out there, those glass bulbs that are a year and a half to two years, this is going to be great news for the homeowner when you tell them, look, I don't, I don't have to come back and replace this for three-and-a-half years. Now, that's, that's the, the shortest life that you'll get out of this is three and a half years. And of course, when you combine that again with that three-year warranty, all but, three, all but six months of this is completely under warranty. But uh, what really sets Scorpion apart from other devices out on the market today is when you look at this little toggle switch that we have, we've got an off and an on, and then we have this little cycle switch that's on there. That cycle switch activates a patented integral airflow sensor that we have on the inside of this. So when you activate that cycle switch, this is gonna come on and off with airflow. So when there's a call in the home, this is gonna turn on. Don't worry about those, uh, you know, those motors, those, those variable speed motors that have almost that whisper mode uh, where it's just barely moving air through the air handler. That's still gonna be enough airflow to turn this on. And when you look at the EPA's average uh, runtime for, uh, for an air handler in America, you're looking at just under 3,000 hours, a 30,000 hour device, you're looking at nearly 10 years or up to 10 years uh, worth of service life out of this. Now, there's no fancy wiring or anything like that. No need to run jumpers over to the G terminal on the on your air handler for, you know, when there's a call. Um, that's, this airflow sensor is going to handle all of that for you. So up to five times the life. Now, ease of installation as well. If you look on the bottom of this, you're gonna see a nice, powerful magnet. Uh, this way, you don't even need to, you know, those self-tapping screws or, or the dog ears, even though we 
we provide the uh, self-tapping screws and we provide the dog ears on the device for various applications, obviously, but that magnet is very powerful. This will, uh, this will do up to seven tons worth of uh, uh, equipment. So you're looking at residential and light commercial type applications. So whether you need one or two, uh, that's gonna be up to you depending on the coil and the conditions. And then finally, this is a validated UL2998 device, meaning it produces no ozone and uh, it is also uh, carb compliant down here. All right. I know that was a mouthful. Of course, we always have cut sheets and we've got uh, brochures and pamphlets and things along. We've even got a, a, a white sheet on this as well. Uh, that's been done to show the efficacy of the device. And of course, if you'd like more information, you can always reach out to us at www.newcalgon.com. That pretty much covers Scorpion. Again, if you have any questions, reach out to us. That's it for me. I'm Jim Dufault. Thanks for watching.